isn't fair! You know it isn't! Dermot, you broke the rules. You know the crack. I can... Yeah, fuck you! Bitch! Can't have it forever, like. It's still mine. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I frighten you? I didn't mean to. Sorry, it's um. It's Harry. I have somewhere you could stay. Not forever, and. Not for free. You'd have to earn your key. Right, in you go. Right. Eight o'clock, it's curfew, off to bed. She knows what you're doing. And? What's the point? We're adults now. No one wants to take us. But we can still try. We will find someone that wants to take us. We just, we just need to lay low till we find jobs. I just wanted to remind you both of the rules. The curfew is part of those rules. Please don't ignore it. Harry. Yeah. I know you've been sneaking out. I've told you before, if you want to stay safe, you stay here. You stay in. You do the chores, you clean the house, you prepare the dinner, and I will make sure that you are safe. Lock us in all day and expect us to be grateful. It's fucking weird. Look, we appreciate your help and all, but we've clearly outstayed our welcome. Pack your things, George. Let's go. Did you not hear me? I said, let's go. You think you can talk to me like that after everything I've done? I wanted to apologise about how I acted yesterday morning, Georgie. It's okay. You were always the kinder one. Not like Harry. But he was the reason you couldn't stay in homes. It's not his fault. He, he was just my older brother. He was just looking out for me. What do you think of the food? Fine. Why? 
new recipe. Just wanted to know if you like it. What do you mean? Just wanted to know what you think of the soup. Where's Harry? Oh, he's around the house. Where? Closer than you'd think. You sick fuck! Oh, don't be like that, Georgie. You're always my favourite. Don't ruin it now. You're fucking sick! Don't ever talk to me like that. You just had to fuck it up, didn't you? You alright, son? You wanna come with me?